Hey folks, Shuli here from Design Files. I just wanted to pop on with a quick video because we have a number of amazing new updates that we've added to the 3D floor planner for you. So I just wanted to create a video and show you how all of this great new functionality is gonna work. So let's use this project here as our example. Um, and to begin with, I'm gonna start by clicking on this sectional right here because one of the new features that we've added to the floor planner for you is the ability to change the color of the models. So when you select an item on your floor plan, you're gonna see a new color filter over here. You can just click on the actual color field here. It's gonna open up the color panel. You'll see that you can add in a specific hex code if you have one or you can use the color wheel and you'll be able to pick colors that you can apply to the item. So you've got the flexibility to add all kinds of colors to this product um, and it'll help you more closely uh, resemble the item that you're actually recommending for your client's home. So definitely give this new feature a try. It should give you a lot of options when it comes to applying colors to the products. Now, one thing that I will bring to your attention, I'm just going to bring out this item right here that is already in a warm wood tone. So in this case, if I wanted to change the color of this product, if I go into the color filter here, I can absolutely add a different color to it. The one thing that I can't do with this item right now is make it white or lighter than what it currently is. So the team is working on that and we'll definitely keep you posted for when it's ready. But for now, you can add a variety of different colors and tones to this item so that you can make it more closely resemble the product that you are recommending for your client space. Okay, so let's get rid of this. Another feature that we added to the floor planner, because a lot of you are requesting it and it makes sense, um, you can now group items together so that you can move and rotate them all at once. So let's say that you created this layout, you're not loving it, and you wanna try a different arrangement. So originally you'd have to move these items one at a time, so you'd move the chair, then the pillow, then the chair, then the pillow. So instead of you having to do that, what we've done here is, if you click on one item, you can then hold the shift key down, click on any other items that you want to group together, and then you can group all these items together. You'll see them all grouped here. And now I can shift them all at once. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click anywhere within this circle right here. You can see the four arrows in the circle. Click anywhere within that and you'll be able to move these items around and rotate them around into a new position. So you can test out different layouts. So I'm just gonna zoom out here a bit and we can shift this over here if we wanted to. Um, you can also uh, duplicate these collections as well and you can always ungroup them when you're ready. So in this case, I think I'm actually going to leave the chairs where I had them and I'm just gonna jump into the floor plan view so that I can see exactly where I wanna put these and I'm gonna leave them here. I'm gonna actually go ahead and ungroup them. Uh, you can absolutely leave your items grouped. The only reason I'm ungrouping it is because I wanna show you the next update. So in your floor plans, if you want to be able to show the actual measurements of the items that you've added to your floor plan, you now can do that as well. So I could click on this chair here, and when I click on the chair and I go over to the right side panel, if I come down here, you'll see that below the dimensions, I have the option to display dimensions. If I click this checkbox right here, it's gonna show the measurements on the floor plan. So I can now click on any of the items that I've added to my floor plan and I can display the, the dimensions to go along with it. So if you want that extra information to be visible to your clients or your contractors or even for your own purposes, you can now do it. Another feature that we've added to the uh, floor planner is the ability to automatically add measurements to any of the lines that you draw within your floor plan. So I'm just gonna zoom in here for a second. So let's say that you wanted to know what the dimension was or the distance was between the edge of this sectional and the edge of the coffee table. Originally, you would have used our measurement tool. You'd have clicked on that, you click on the edge of the actual sectional, you bring your measurement all the way down here, and you click on the edge of the coffee table, and it's gonna show you what the distance is. You could, of course, then close out of this and close out of the measurement tool, and if you wanted to add a line to show that measurement, you'd go down into the labels and lines and you would draw it. 
That's way too many lines. That's way too many steps. So what we've done is we've totally simplified that. And now if you wanted to uh, basically include a line here to indicate what the distance is between these two items, just click the option to draw a line, click on the edge of the sectional, click on the edge of your coffee table. And here you have the ability to add measurements as a label and it will just apply it. And then of course you can choose to style this as well. So if you wanted to decrease the font size or change the color um, or even the thickness of the line, you can make it solid or dashed. You can style it however you like, but you now have the flexibility to add in all these additional details to your floor plan very quickly and have that extra information visible so that you can share it with anyone else who needs to see this information. Okay, so we have now gone over the new color tool, the ability to group and shift items all at once, the ability to add measurements to any of the items that you've added to your floor plan, and the ability to show dimensions on any of the lines that you have added to your floor plans as well. So let's now jump into the updates that we've added to the rendering process. So if I am ready to uh, save my floor plan and do a render, I'm gonna click the save button up here and you'll see that this new option is showing where you can pick the render quality. Now, right now, photorealistic is coming soon, so it's not available just yet, and we'll definitely keep you posted when we have that ready. So for now, you can do the quick renders, and you're just gonna click the button here to set up the render. When you click, click the button to set up the render, you're gonna notice that you actually have the option to choose which angle you want to uh, save that render at. So the system's not just gonna pick a default angle for you anymore. What's gonna happen is you have the flexibility now to just rotate this design around. Um, the one thing that I will say is that if you have an external mouse, use it because it's gonna be a lot easier for you to change the angle of your render. With an external mouse, you'll be able to use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. If you hold down the right button on your mouse, you can slide the design from left to right. And if you hold down the left button, you can rotate it. So it allows you to see the room from multiple angles. When you have a uh, angle that you're happy with, and I'm just gonna kind of rotate this around a little bit. One thing that I do try to do with my renders is make sure that my horizontal lines are horizontal and my verticals are uh, as straight as they can be. So I'm just gonna rotate that a little bit more here. I think I can get that vertical a little bit. That's better. Okay, so I just wanna try to get this a little bit straighter here. And now that I have it, I could choose to use this as my render. Over here, you'll see that you have a field of view option. So you can zoom in and you can zoom out. If you wanna show more of the room, you can zoom out. In this case, um, I think what I'm gonna actually do is just kind of zoom in a little bit more so, the, so my client can see the details. And here, if I change this, I can change the position of the sun. So you can decide what you like best. And when you're ready, you can go ahead and you can save uh, or start the rendering process. Now you'll see this panel pop up. It's just gonna show you that it's rendering through. If this is a very detailed room, it might take a little, a few extra seconds or it might be very quick like that. Um, now up here, you'll see that you can download the rendered images. So if you did want to uh, take multiple renders, you could actually choose to modify the render uh, render it from a different angle and then download each image so that you can see the room from multiple angles and you could share that with your client. Right now you can save one rendered image to your project. So if you're happy with it, you would just say, uh, click this button right here to use this render in your project. And like I said, if you want to modify it, you click here. And if you want to have different views of this space, you can continue to modify it and download an image for each angle that you take. But for now, I'm gonna take this and I'm just going to use this render in my project. It'll bring me back to this view and I'm just gonna hit save here. Again, the system is going to now save my floor plan, my top-down floor plan, um, sorry, my top-down 3D and the actual rendered angle of the space that I chose. If you've got a detailed floor plan, it might take a few extra seconds to save, so just let it do its thing. And once it's ready, you'll be able to go back to the project. So we're all set here. I'm gonna go back to my project, 
Here I've got my top down. If I flick through, it'll show me the rendered image that I chose for this project and I can share this with my client. And if I go all the way back through to the first, I'll see my floor plan and it'll show me all the measurements that I've added to it. So definitely pop into your Design Files account. A lot has changed within the 3D Floor Planner. There's great new functionality that's available for you. Pop in, give everything a try. As always, let us know what you think and thanks for watching.